let's go ahead and do f minus g of x. So you guys can see what f plus g of x was. So f minus g of x is going to be the exact same thing, except now we're going to subtract. Now, this is what's going to come very, very important, Alex, for you to make sure that you have your parentheses in here. Because when I leave a parenthesis in here, now I can't just say, I can't eliminate my parentheses. Because if I just eliminate my parentheses and say, oh, here's my subtraction symbol, well, then I'm only subtracting x. I'm not subtracting the negative 4. So we have to make sure that we apply our parentheses and then apply, I'm sorry, the subtraction. Because we're not just subtracting x, we're subtracting x minus 4. Well, therefore, minus a negative 4 is going to be now a positive 4. So when I combine like terms, I'm going to have x minus x, which is 0x, which is 0, and then 5 um, plus 4, which is 9. Okay, So that's what you should have had for m minus that. Oh, I forgot to mention to you guys. Uh, please make sure you guys grade.